Hi everyone, and welcome to Project Pipeline mini-series, hosted by the National Organization of Minority Architects, the Pittsburgh chapter, also known as NOMA Pittsburgh. My name is Victoria, and I am introducing you all today to architectural drawings in my lesson. For the exercise after this lesson, you will need paper, pencil, and a ruler. Additionally, there's an extra exercise uh, where you will be using uh, online software to potentially draw architectural drawings. I've also included links to third-party learning resources that further talk about some of the architectural drawings we will be discussing today. Please consider looking into these after the lesson uh, to learn more. So, as I mentioned, we'll be learning more about architectural drawings. Our goals are to introduce the three types of 2D architectural drawings and explain what kind of information each show. So, You'll see, see at the bottom of the three examples of the architectural drawings we'll go into further detail. And they are plan, section, and elevation. I wanted to talk briefly about how these drawings are used in real life applications. Um, so architects and designers create these types of drawings uh, by hand or by computer drafting software in order to describe objects of all different sizes and scales. For example, uh, architects and designers use drawings to draw buildings, but designers also use drawings to design furniture and every other everyday objects you may use in your daily lives. These drawings help designers understand the parts and components of an object and how they come together to create space and form. In architecture, architects draw to describe the design spaces and buildings. These drawings are developed to a point and then given to other parties and other people to build the drawings. As you can see in the images below, uh, the architect pr produces plans and they layer on additional information so that others a builder can build the building accurately. In other words, architects do not build buildings, but they design and draw buildings so that others can build them. So let's get started with a plan. A plan is a drawing that describes an object if you cut the object horizontally. Uh, typically, the building is cut at waist level or about three feet from the ground. And you're looking down at the sliced object from above. A plan is also a view of a building from the top and shows the spaces within the building and the relationship with each other. On this page, there are two examples of plans of homes. Here is another example of a plan, but zoomed up so you can see in detail the different spaces that create the building. So, knowing what you know about plans, what do you see here and what do you know about this place? Architects and designers also add additional information in their drawings to imply the different uses within the building. For example, you can see representations of a bed of a bed in a bedroom or a couch. By using these clues and tips, this helps the reader understand what kind of activities take place in each space. So, 
What else do you know about this place? The next is a section drawing. A section is a drawing that describes an object if you cut the object vertically and then you're looking at the inside of the sl slice object from the side. For example, sections are like seeing the insides of a cake once you slice through, but it's in a building form. Take a look at these two images. On the image of the cake, you can see that the cake is sliced through and you can see the different layers of the cake um, and the icing that is in between the layers. Taking a look at the building section, you can see the different layers of the building and the different spaces that comprise of the entire building. You can also see information like how thick the floors are and how people circulate through the space, through the stairs. Sections can also describe the outside profile of a building, as well as the profile of the spaces and objects within. Sections also reveal relationships between the different parts of the building that cannot be seen in plan. So, knowing what you know about section drawings and what they represent and show, what do you see here? And what do you know about this place? From this section drawing, you can see that there is a middle portion of the building um, that seems to connect all the different floors. If you look closer, you can also see the profile of steps. This implies that this is a stair tower um, and that this space stacks on all floors uh, so that people can circulate a lot along, along the building in an efficient way. Additionally, you will also notice that there are images of cars on the bottom floor of this building. This indicates that there are multiple people in the space uh, and multiple cars within a garage. Lastly, you will notice that there are people represented in this portion of the section and they are looking out of some sort of ledge condition. This implies that this space could be a, a patio for the inhabitants of this building. So you can see that section drawings show a lot about a building and how the building is used. So what do you think? What do you know about this place? How is this building being used? Is it a single family home or a place where multiple families live? And lastly, we'll talk about an elevation drawing. An elevation is a drawing that describes an object as you are looking at it from the front, back, or side. There are two types of elevation. An exterior elevation, which means outside, or an, and an interior elevation, which means inside. Exterior elevations describe different elements on the outside of a building, such as front doors, windows, landscape, and outside exterior materials. An interior elevation describes a particular wall within a building and can show things like furniture, lighting, interior finishes, which include posters or pictures hung on the wall, and things that you would see within the inside of a building. You will see on this page, there are two images of the two different types of elevations. One, an exterior elevation of a notable monument, and the second, an interior elevation of a bathroom area. So, now that you know what an elevation is, here are three different elevations. And I'd like for you to, to see and ask yourself, what do you see here? And what do you know about this place? The top two elevations show the building and how it looks like from the outside. It locates windows 
and entrances, and with color implies different materials. Also, the designer has included multiple cars uh, and, uh, and silhouettes of people, implying entrances and garage areas. The bottom elevation describes an activity within the building. You will see different furniture and lighting conditions within this elevation. So what do you see here? What kind of activities happen within this space and what kind of building this is? Use the information on the elevation to help you inform your answer. And that's it. That concludes our brief introduction on architectural drawings. And now the fun part. Let's draw. Using a piece of paper and pencil, draw a plan, section, and elevation of a space. It could be a room, an apartment, a house, a library, a space you're in right now, or any space you know. And try to put as much information as you can in each drawing. Some items that you could include are windows, doors, furnitures, people, pets, dimensions, or anything else you see. And as a bonus exercise, uh, you can draw plan, section, and elevation digitally by downloading and using this free block building software called Mecca Bricks. And thank you for participating in Project Pipeline. I hope you learned a lot about architectural drawings, and I hope that you stay tuned for our other videos and exercises. Bye.